Good evening, everyone. Oh, gosh. I, I've got that all kinds of messed up, don't I? Hold on. The, the face needs to go down in the corner. Like so. And then this, this is still initializing, so I need to pause it. So, <clears throat> hang tight. Uno momento. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and load. Um, so, there's new presence. Hi. Hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you've never been to my channel before, I'm not like most YouTubers. Sorry, that sounded like the, I'm not like other girls comment. <clears throat> well, um, there are a lot of channels out there that will do edits and cuts and everything else. Mine are basically like straight through gameplays. It's me playing the game, enjoying a conversation with myself, talking to a camera, you know, while you watch, which is kind of a weird thing thing because a lot of people they get very personable with like this talking and I want you to know that like I don't know who you are okay so right off the bat I don't know you okay um we're not friends like I do care about you I care that you're here and I care that you go through your daily life that you have the same kind of stuff going on with everyone else in the world like we have a connection and that's us being humans so i guess, I guess that's where the connection comes in from it's not really so much like we're friends because i mean you can't talk back to me i mean you could probably scream at your monitor and i wouldn't answer oh you can comment you can leave comments um but nice comments and not creepy comments Creepy comments, they get deleted. Like, they're weird. <clears throat> but, I mean, that's that's the beauty of the internet, right? That's the, that's the power of YouTube nowadays. Which is kind of weird, but... Oh well. <clears throat> A lot of people are like, Code, how do you get so famous on YouTube? And the, to answer your question, I don't know. I think I filled a gap in a time when uh, nobody else was making Roblox videos with voice and it blew up like overnight it blew up lots of people became Robloxian youtubers and it just went from there um, a lot of people say code I can't believe you're still playing lumber after all these years yeah lumber is my game this is my jam now there's been um, flux like there's not been much flux much change this, oh, I need to, like, look at these. What are these? The gift with yellow candy cane stripes. <laughs> gift with yellow cane candy cane stripes. So I'm going to imagine this is, this isn't an axe. It's not an axe, right? It's probably not an axe. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not. But if this turns out to be the candy cane axe, oh my gosh. <laughs> Now I might be able to give up my secret after all these years. I'm just kidding. I would never give up that secret. Defaulty, I love you. I think you're amazing. This game is awesome. Um, I think Defaulty has got some of the coolest secrets and one of the most brilliant minds of our time. He is introvert. You know, keeps to himself a lot. He's got uh, a circle of awesome good friends that he hangs out with. And makes music with and does cool things with i'm not one of them <clears throat> of course i mean that, that would be kind of weird wouldn't it that's that'd be like this the youtube thing you know 1032 for all these presents that's a beautiful thing thank you tom i appreciate it so we should be able to max out this truck with the new presents I am going to saturate my base with the new presents. I wonder if I should purchase some more of these. Like while those are still loading up. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Where's oh there's the other one. Boink. There's one. Jump. There's like two more, right? I think there's five total. I would laugh if these five presents are all different inside presents. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what is this thing called? Anyhow, 
The gift of critically acclaimed knowledge. <laughs> I would laugh if my book's inside. Oh, defaultio. So funny. The advanced roadblocks coding books inside. Speaking of which, um, two new books are coming out. Pre-sell orders are on right now. They don't release until 2022, but if you want to purchase your advanced Roblox coding book updated version, it is on the Amazon website. Um, I think you can order it pre-sell through YouTube, not YouTube, uh, what's the other one, Walmart, maybe? And then, uh, oh, also big news, um, Simon & Schuster, that is the company that does the publishing of my books. They um, are currently under a deal to try and get bought by, I think it's Penguin Pu Publishing, Penguin something? It's like a Penguin house. But I remember the Penguin books from um, middle school, whenever we had the book fairs and stuff like that. Little Red Penguin, I think. It's a little, little, it's a, it's a publishing company, anyhow. I think they are trying to buy the rights to the, all the books and the, the sales and stuff, which is going to be cool because the ones that actually do the publishing of my book is called Adams Media. And they are um, a subsidiary of Simon & Schuster. So, oh, by the way, did you guys know I, I wrote three books? Well, I wrote one book and books two and three are updated versions of the first Roblox book. I think it's the ultimate guide to Roblox. And then the second one is, um, or the third book is um, the updated version. And now I want to state this, okay? These are simply updates of the images, of the, the context, um, the, what is it, the, there's, there's some of the code changes because the old code doesn't work on some of the new features. There's been updates to the code itself. But, you're, like, if you purchase the old version of the book, it's not much different except it's updated images, updated context, updated terminology. Like, we don't call them games anymore, we call them experiences. So I had to go through and find where it was called a game in all of it. And I had to do the explaining of that at the very beginning. There's also a really good section on, um, oh, what's it called? Like the, the, how to start your game, like how to process and create your game. And like 90% of it is not the programming part of it. It's the story. It's the, the context. It's the substance. That's basically what it is. When you're creating a game, you're creating a story. You're creating a environment. I'm going to need more storage units. Okay, we'll just set these off to the side for the moment. Actually, here. Didn't I do this last time? I just Didn't I just back it up and then I just re-res my truck? I'll do that this time. Anyhow, I didn't want to make this a very long video. I did want to get in here and like do a, a quick tutorial on like all the presents that are currently out. So I will do, uh, dang it. I'll do that real quick. So um, first place we're going to visit is going to be, oh gosh, fancy furnishings because it's about to close. We need to get over there before it closes. Come on code, go dang it. Go, please. Uh, I wonder if Bob Shack's got anything in there. He should have a present. He's usually the one that wraps like the... The kind of not so great presents. <laughs> like the can of um, hamburger. <laughs> I remember he gave us a spork one year. And then... He, he was the housing unit for the, um, what is it, the ostrich eye. Oh man, the theories we had about the ostrich eye. I wish we could go back to those times. That'd be cool. If you guys didn't know, like we were trying to figure out if you take the eye and throw it, does it roll to point to the direction of a spook tree? 
Oh, we had so many different ideas and theories. Okay, I'm not actually going to buy. I'm just, I, I gotta get in here and show you what presents they are. Let's go! Run, 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 run. So this is the present of Wobbly Gift of Lowest Confidence for 220. Close. And this is the Dark Gift for 7,090. And those are the two that are in here. Uh, no other gifts. Yep, nothing hidden. Uh, who is messaging me? Go away. Don't you know this is my time to record? This is when I record. Why are you messaging me? Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> um, spending too much time on your phone. Like, I know my nose is buried on my phone constantly, but if you're, like, on the bus, or if you're in a restaurant, or, like, if you're going through the cashier's line, stuff like that, put your phone down for a second. Human interact with someone. And if you have social anxiety, stop it. Just talk. You're probably never going to see that person again anyway. <sighs> and that's one of the great, like, knowledges. That's, that's one of the best feelings. Like, being super nice to somebody knowing that they'll probably never see you again, but you'll leave an impression to them. Like, man, that was a really nice person to be around. I love that feeling, that knowledge. This is the gift of critically acclaimed knowledge. So either it's going to be a book or an encyclopedia, something like that. <clears throat> oh, how much was that? It is for 805. And then... We have the gift with yellow candy cane stripes for 129. The gift that has stripes that resembles yellow candy cane? Question mark. I'm wondering if he's going to hide in the present somewhere. <clears throat> like what if what if there was like one gift that could be bought one time? And that's it. And it's hidden in one of the stores. Oh, my imagination is running wild. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Cold. Anytime. Okay, I think that's it. That's that's all I got for you tonight. You know? Go and pick up your Christmas gifts. You're not going to be able to open them until Christmas. Until after Christmas. Most likely Christmas Day. They will unlock. Uh, usually about like 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's when it, it starts, I think. But you'll be able to open your presents at that time. So, enjoy your mornings. Don't try and be the first person to open the ball gift. Because we all know that the numbers, like this one right here, this gift. All right. It's the same pattern as all of the ball gifts. And I'll show you what the ball gift looks like. If I have one. Yeah, these. So... We've got the teal, the yellow, the red, the purple. Do I have any other? Yeah, I think the red one was the first one. The blue one was the second one. The teal green. This was the third one. Oh wait, was that blue? <gasps> Dang it, that was blue. It looked green for some reason. Oh well. But then we got yellow. And as you open them, like you can look at the numbers on them like this one was 710,034 so that's how many of these have been opened over the course of these items history I don't even know what my lowest one is I think I, I saw an 11 one time somebody got the 11th ball but the earlier you open them the faster the faster that you can get to it and open one, the lower the number is going to be. If you get number one, I am willing to buy it from you. If you have the number one, like seriously, you name it and it's it, like, it's yours. Except for like a Tesla or something like that. I can't, I can't, I can't purchase a Tesla for myself. Why would I purchase you a Tesla? I'm just saying. Uh, within my means, whatever whatever I have within my means to get you the um, to get the the number one ball, absolutely. 
And I'm not the only one who was willing to offer. I'm sure if you asked many of the Robloxian Lumber Tycoon 2 YouTubers, somebody, somewhere, somehow, will offer you. You know? That's, that's the amazing thing about getting the low number balls. If you, if you get one that's like within the first 10 digits, that's, a, that's an expensive piece of item. Just saying. Anyhow, that's all I got for you tonight. Um, like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, everything's just kind of slow this 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 the whole month. Um, starting January first, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little secret. See my face. You may have noticed over the years that I've kind of gotten a little chunky. Chunky, chunk, chunk, chunky. Um, starting January first, I'm going to go back on keto. And I'm going to start in on the P90X3 again. Um, I've done these separately by themselves, and they are amazing. So for any dads out there who are rocking the dad bod for Christmas, all right, join with me. Let's go into keto. If you don't know how to do keto, there's a guy that does some amazing keto things on uh, on YouTube. Oh, gosh, what's his name? Hold on. I'll look him up real quick. YouTube. There we go. How to Keto. There he is. Thomas Delauri. D-E-L-A-U-E-R. Follow what he has to tell you. Okay. he He's the guy that got me started on it. I did it for, man, like six months straight. And within the first two, three, three months of being on it, I went from 290 pounds all the way down to 240. 40 pounds three months that's it and it was fairly easy to to do and i mean i love butter i love fat i love um bacon yeah <laughs> imagine that a healthy diet of bacon mm. no noobs were har harmed in the making of keto <clears throat> Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. So scroll out at the end of the videos. Like a good YouTube does. It's your choice to do so. If you want, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I love you guys for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro.